I found a resource that's gonna make you so much better at generating prompts inside of tools like Claude and ChatGPT. I'm gonna dig into this resource in a second, but before I do, Anthropic released this announcement about Claude right before I hit record on this video. Claude has a new team plan, so if you're a business and you have multiple people that you want to all work inside of a single Claude account, they now have a team account for that. But what's more interesting to me personally at the moment is that they just finally released an iOS app. We've had an iOS app for ChatGPT, for Perplexity, for Pi, for all these other large language models and chat assistants, but we haven't had one for Claude, and today they finally released it for Claude. Now, the Claude app is only available on iOS as of right now, and if you wanna download it, you've gotta be kind of careful, so check this out. If I do a search for Claude here, the first app that shows up is a paid app, followed by one that looks like it might be trying to fool you into thinking that it's actually Claude, called Chat AI with Claude, powered by Anthropic Claude 3. But this was an app made by Edward Gruzinski. This is not the official app. In fact, I had to scroll for quite a while down the app store until I actually find the legit Claude app. And I'm still scrolling, still scrolling, still scrolling. And there it is. We can see that this Claude app here is actually created by Anthropic. We can actually see it's brand new because it doesn't even have any ratings or reviews yet. So just be careful if you are gonna download the Claude app to make sure you're grabbing the right one. Now, I'm sure as more people actually download this version of the app, it's going to rise towards the top of the app store. So hopefully by the time you're seeing this video, the legit Claude app is the one that shows up when you search Claude. So taking a quick peek at the Claude app, I'm noticing it's slightly buggy still. Maybe some of this will be worked out super soon, so by the time you're seeing this video, it's fixed. But if I click on continue with Google, nothing happens. So I'm I'm tapping it, uh, and it's not going anywhere. I am able to log in directly with my email, although normally on the Claude website, I log in directly with Google. You can see that all of my previous chats that I've had with Claude are available, so I can pick up where I left off on any of those chats. The app itself is still pretty bare bones. If I click on my profile, you can see I can switch the model I'm using, change my name, update my billing information, and log out. When I go to chat, they do have the features to take a picture, upload an image, or upload a document, so I can do that stuff. So if you're out and about and you wanna take a picture of a plant or whatever, ask the AI what it's looking at, you can do that. In fact, let's go ahead and take a picture like this. I'll click use photo and type, what am I looking at? And submit it, and it will analyze that picture. The image shows a person using two computer monitors on screens. On one screen, there appears to be a camera view. On the second screen in the background, there appears to be some kind of news or interview program playing. Overall, the image seems to depict someone multitasking and working on a computer with multiple programs and tasks open simultaneously. A beachside backdrop visible through the window suggests this workspace has a pleasant view. Let's see, what is it actually seeing? It's actually seeing a picture of Maui in the background. That's not the window. That would be nice if it was the window, but pretty handy, if not pretty bare bones still. No voice chat. I can't sit here and have a conversation with it like I can with ChatGPT or Pi yet. If I had to guess, that's probably a feature they're gonna roll out pretty soon because I would imagine that's a pretty in-demand feature. All right, moving on to what I actually wanted to make this video about, which is that Anthropic actually has a resource for optimized prompts where they actually give you specific prompts that you can use to get specific outcomes that you want. And it's really, really useful. You can actually find it over at docs.anthropic.com slash Claude slash prompt dash library. And you know, I'll have the link in the description. So just click there to get to it easy. We have a few filters here for personal prompts, business prompts, and user submitted prompts. But there are all sorts of ideas of ways to use these AI programs. And again, these prompts won't just work with Claude. These will also work with ChatGPT. If you watched my last video where I was talking about comparing large language models, I kind of concluded that for most tasks that most people are using them for, they all kind of act the same at this point. But there's a few of these prompts that I wanted to kind of experiment with and show off. But again, I'm just scratching the surface of what's available here. They do have things in here like generating an interactive speed typing game, a culinary creator suggesting recipe ideas based on a user's available ingredients, a pundit generate clever puns and wordplay based on any given topic, mindfulness mentors, tongue twisters, alliteration alchemist, sci-fi scenario simulator, and so much more to play around with. 
but I want to focus in on a few that I think are really, really useful. Like this website wizard. Let's go ahead and take a peek what's in here. And you can see when we click into this, we get a few little bits of information here. We've got a system prompt. We've got a user prompt. And then we've got an example output of what we can sort of expect it to generate for us. Now, this is designed to be used inside of the Anthropic console. So if you go to console.anthropic.com slash workbench, you'll find their console. This is sort of their version of the OpenAI Playground, which if you're not familiar, you can find over at platform.openai.com slash playground slash chat, also in the description. Now with the Anthropic console, if this is the first time you're using it, they do give you $5 in free credits. You can see that I've used less than 50 cents so far playing around with this, but you can also sort of hack these prompts to use them directly on the Claude website, which I'll show you in just a minute. But let's go ahead and test this website wizard here. The first thing we wanna do is take this system prompt that they gave us and copy it. And we'll go to the Anthropic console and then open up the system prompt, paste that right here. And then they give us the user prompt, which is an example prompt. This is sort of a demo. You can change it out however you want, but let's go ahead and paste this here. We can see our system prompt. Your task is to create a one page website based on the given specifications delivered as HTML file with embedded JavaScript and CSS. And basically describes that you're gonna create a website, keep it all on a single page instead of creating multiple files. And then under the user prompt, this is where we're kind of giving the brief of what we want the website to look like and do. Create a one-page website for an online learning platform called EduQuest with the following features and sections. Fixed navigation bar, hero section, featured course, interactive learning paths, success stories, and footer with links, and then some more details on how it should handle the CSS and JavaScript. Now, when you're building your own website, obviously go through and change this prompt so it's more relevant to what you're trying to get out of it. So I've got my system prompt, my user prompt. Now I can simply click run. And then over on the right side, you can watch as it will generate the code we just asked for. All right, so it's finished creating all the code here on the right. So I'm gonna scroll up to the top, click copy code. And I'm simply just gonna paste it into a notepad file here, call it test HTML and save this. And if I open up the test HTML, this is what I get. We've got a header menu, a search bar. It actually put a headline here, but it actually put the headline white text on white background. So you can't really see it unless I highlight it. We put our featured courses. It obviously wants us to use our own course images, learning paths, success stories, and then a footer with some really ugly colors and poor centering. But that's easy enough to fix. If I jump back over to Claude here, I can click on add to conversation. So it's gonna put all of this code back over here. So it's making sure to reference the code that it already created. And then I can give it some additional feedback. I'm basically giving it a prompt telling it what was wrong with the site and I'll hit enter and I'll click run. And now it's giving me an updated version of the code. And like I mentioned, you can use this over in OpenAI's playground as well. I can take their exact system prompt here, copy it, come over to our chat window in OpenAI's Playground, paste this into the system prompt, grab the same exact user message, copy this, paste this into our user prompt here. Let's set our model to the newest GPT-4 Turbo model. I'm gonna crank up our maximum length just to make sure it has enough context window to actually finish the code. And we'll go ahead and submit that. And just like Claude, this will give us code as well. Jumping back to Claude, it looks like it updated our code for us. So I'll go ahead and copy this code and just paste it over our original code here, save it, refresh our page. We can see it centered all the text, made our headline readable by putting it inside of a box now. And everything looks quite a bit cleaner. Obviously you go back and forth and iterate until you get exactly what you're looking for, but not too bad for just using two prompts and getting the bare bones of a website going. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new text document for our GPT-4 version, paste in the code that GPT-4 just gave me right here inside of the OpenAI console. I'll go ahead and save this one as test2.html and we get a similar starting point, at least the text readable on the first shot this time but it still has some formatting and centering issues. And again, we give it another prompt, tell them what we're seeing that's wrong with it. It cleans it up, fixes it for us. And we've got a decent start to a website. Now you can use the Claude 
chat window or the chat GPT window to do the same thing. This time let's pick the ethical dilemma navigator. Help the user think through complex ethical dilemmas and provide different perspectives. But this time I'm just gonna go straight to Claude.ai. We'll grab our system prompt, copy this. Now we'll jump to Claude, paste in our system prompt, and this is telling it what to do. So help the user navigate a complex ethical dilemma by identifying core ethical principles, exploring different ethical frameworks, considering potential consequences, etc. But what I'm gonna do is to the beginning of it, I'm gonna add your role is to help the user navigate, etc. But I'm just gonna give this a couple spaces here. And this is just like the same thing as giving it a system prompt. It's just, you're giving it all in a single window. So now what I would do is I would take the actual user prompt that they suggest here, just paste it after giving it a little space and then tweak it to whatever you want. The example prompt is I'm a journalist who has uncovered evidence of corruption involving a high ranking government official. Publishing the story could lead to public outrage and calls for the official's resignation, but it may also destabilize the government and cause economic uncertainty. The official has offered me a significant bribe to keep the story quiet. Should I accept the bribe, publish the story, or find another solution? Again, use whatever ethical dilemma you're exploring. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the example dilemma here. And the output that we're gonna get right now is gonna be very similar to the output that I would have gotten had I used a system prompt and a user prompt separately over inside of the console. You can see it's actually breaking down the key ethical dilemmas and principles here. You need to generate some content for a spreadsheet. You've got the spreadsheet sorcerer. Copy the system prompt, paste it into Claude, give it a space, copy the user prompt, paste that in, and then of course, tweak this however you want it. But if I submit this, you can see that it gave me a CSV, it's comma separated values, containing information about books in a library. To Kill a Mockingbird, Harper Lee, Classic, 1960 and five, which would be the number of available copies. But it'll help you fill out a spreadsheet really quickly. If I was to copy all this data here, open up a new notepad file, just paste it in, and then just save as, let's just call it books.csv. If I open up books.csv in Excel here, you can see it formatted it all into its proper columns. The same works if I open up a Google Sheet here, pull in my books.csv file, and click import data, you can see it gave it all the proper formatting inside of Google Sheets as well. If you're a Python coder, they've got a Python bug buster with examples on how to use that prompt. Need a meeting distilled down into just the bullets and action items? You got a meeting scribe. There's a code consultant, a trivia generator, a grammar genie, data organizer, email extractor, an airport code analyst. There are just a ton of pre-written pre-optimized prompts that you can use inside of Claude and ChatGPT. Doesn't matter that it's on Anthropic's website. They work with ChatGPT and Llama and all of the other large language models as well. And it's likely that no matter what you do in business or maybe you need some personal productivity help or whatever, you just wanna have some fun, there's probably some prompts in here that you can use that will make your life easier that you didn't even realize you can do with a large language model like Claude or ChatGPT. So check it out. Again, I'll make sure the links are available in the description. Just wanted to make a quick video to show this off. Also, it was cool that the Anthropic News came out that there's now an iPhone app. I could go through and demo a whole bunch more of these for you, but I think you get the idea. If you go to the website, you can browse it, find the prompts yourself, test them out. Even on the free versions of Claude and ChatGPT, they'll still do pretty well. The Paid versions are gonna be a little bit better at things like coding, but when it comes to creative writing, creating CSVs, things like that, even the free versions are gonna be pretty damn good at that. So that's what I got for you today. Just wanted to share some real helpful resources for you, help you get the most out of Claude and ChatGPT. If you wanna stay in the loop with even more cool AI tools and the latest AI news, check out futuretools.io. Make sure you subscribe to the free newsletter. Just by subscribing, I'll hook you up with the free AI income database, a database of cool ways to make money using these AI tools. And of course, I'll keep you informed directly in your inbox with all the latest AI news that I think you need to know and the coolest AI tools that come across my table. And if you haven't already, maybe subscribe to this channel and like this video. It'll make sure more videos like this show up in your YouTube feed. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate you nerding out with me today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.